Okay. And the red wire goes to black. How are Yeah, it's difficult to take the light fixture down when it's been up there for 30 years. Right now I'm trying to uh, get the wiring loose and uh, I'll soon be removing the toggle bolts that hold it to the drywall ceiling. Uh, you can see me doing that right now. I'm taking the toggle bolts loose and I'm holding the light fixture up with my right hand. Once those toggle bolts are loose, the light fixture would fall to the ground. Since I already have the wiring loose. Right now, I'm actually tightening up the ground wire. I have already replaced the ballast the ballast resistor that makes the lights go on and off. That's what was wrong with the appliance, or I should say the light fixture. It had a, a bad ballast, starter ballast. And I'm tightening up the ground wire that's coming from the ceiling to make the fixture a safe one. I'm tightening up the other toggle bolt that holds the light fixture in place, feeling pretty confident. On the lower right hand side, you can see the new balance. There it is. It's the black box. That's an electronic ballast. The one that was up there before was a magnetic ballast. Now that I've got it all wired up, I put the shield in place to cover the wires and I'm installing the light bulbs. This project is quickly coming to a completion. The only thing left for me to do is climb up uh, with the um, cover for the light. It's a kind of a deflector so it's not as harsh. You can see it's pretty harsh with just the bulbs up there. So I'm putting the deflector or light cover up and it's about Mm, the ladder's 16 feet tall, so I'm at least, I would say, close to 12 feet off the ground. Trying to put this thing in place on a shaky aluminum ladder. It's not uh, easy to do, and it's not comfortable being up that high. But I did manage to finally get it hooked. There's a special way that you hook it and then it comes across and hooks on the other side. And I'm just hoping that everything doesn't fall down, the fixture included. But uh, I'm counting on those toggle bolts holding it to the ceiling, and it, uh, which it actually did. That's good. But don't forget, it is a drywall ceiling. and. Uh, Drywall's not that strong. How is it? I did it, man. I fixed this light. It's been broken for so long. I fixed it. It needed a new ballast. Ballast. I don't know if it's called a resistor or what, but it needed a new ballast. And the ballast that was on it was a magnetic ballast. And they haven't used those for decades. And they didn't have a magnetic ballast. So I have a, a solid state instant on ballast that the man at the hardware store was so happy. I was so happy, I should say he was happy. He, he was happy to help me. And I was very grateful that he picked out the right ballast. And uh, with a little adaptation on the light fixture, I was able to secure the new ballast to the old light fixture and uh, we tested it right there in the store. Can you believe that for service? Salmon's, Salmon's hardware. And uh, 
we wired it up and tested it right there in the store, and it worked. It took off. And now I have a 30-year-old fluorescent light with an electronic ballast, and it's working. And it was $41, including the screws and the toggle bolts it took to put it up. And I'm really happy about it. I'm glad I got the help, and I'm, I'm glad I was able to fix it because, uh, quite frankly speaking, it's, it would probably be, be next to impossible to find a light like this because everything is going LED. Um, and this particular length and, and type of bulb that it takes, I'm really happy that I was able to fix it. So for now, <laughs> thumbs up, job well done, it worked out. Well, we bought us a new dishwasher because the old one had had it. We'd had it for 19 years and I'd made numerous repairs on it. But this time I just couldn't fix it. It wasn't draining the water. It wasn't draining the uh, dirty water. And uh, I presume the, the pump broke on it. So we ended up buying this Frigidaire dishwasher because it was one of the few that was actually in stock. Uh, we picked other more expensive dishwashers, but they didn't have them in stock, so we settled for this one. But there was a problem with this particular dishwasher. It had uh, a valve on it, which is the inlet water valve, that was different than uh, what came off of the old dishwasher. Uh, the original dish dishwasher would connect with a copper, copper tubing, as you can see here. But the new dishwasher was a hose fitting. It would fit uh, a garden hose. And uh, I was unable to get that special hose. It was not available in the store. So what I did was actually switch out the, uh, the valve from the old dishwasher to the new dishwasher so that I was able to connect the copper tubing. But uh, it turns out I couldn't get the water completely shut off at the wall. I tried. I turned the knob as hard as I could, but it was still dripping. And any of you that have done plumbing know what I'm talking about. So ultimately, I ended up putting in the valve, uh, water control valve, from the old dishwasher onto the new one, which I knew would immediately void the warranty. And... and uh, it's just something I had to do because these are uh, COVID pandemic times and it's adapt and overcome. I used the manufacturer's recommendation by getting some Cascade Platinum and uh, we're using that in the dishwasher and some Lemmy Shine. Now this Cascade Platinum is supposed to take care of everything and leave you with clean dishes. The only problem here is that we live in the desert and the water is very hard. So in the past I've been able to use Lemmy Shine uh, in the final rinse. But this is a digitally controlled dishwasher. It doesn't have the turn knob where you can see where the rinse cycle is. So the Lemmy Shine basically is not something I'm going to be able to use in the future. So I have some extra Lemmy Shine. Here it's showing the, the dishes and everything that are in the dishwasher. And uh, we're getting ready to run the dishes and see how things turn out. I put the rinse aid in that came with the dishwasher. It's a Cascade rinse aid. And I, I put that in along with the uh, platinum. I tried to put a little bit of lemon shine in the side there just to see if it would help it work better. But uh, ultimately, it didn't really make any difference. And then, uh, of course, I dropped my little Cascade Platinum 
in the uh, in the soap tray and close the lid and it snaps into place okay slide the rack in and close the door and there's no real handle on this door you just push it in until it lights up and once it lights up you push the start button and uh, it does its thing. I was relieved that it was still working without any drips. I was looking for drips to see if anything was dripping from my connection that I made with the copper tubing because I did have to modify it as I said earlier. And as you can see, no water down there. Well, there's the old dishwasher that shot. I loaded it in the truck and was going to take it down to the recycle center, being a good citizen, Closed. where they could grind it up and Closed. reuse it. Closed all but, day. Uh, this recycling the recycle center. center was closed. I guess it's owned by a new by a new company. It's not owned by the city anymore, and they only take small items like bottles and cans and things like that. But if you look in the background, you can see all the used appliances. But uh, there's no way that I could get back in there to throw my dishwasher away. So I had to proceed to the scale. I had to go over to the scale. New rules. Here I am in line. And uh, it, was a, it was a hot day. It was very hot. The truck didn't have air conditioning in it. And... Uh, we sat there and idled. Okay, so you're gonna go take it up and around to the back, okay? Okay, now. Thank you. Hang on, you say over there? Where? No, up and around to the back of the building. In the pit. In the pit, that's, that's what right. I need to hear. Well, I actually had to pay a fee of $8 to dump this thing, which was surprising for me. Never thought I'd have to take this to the pit. Uh, best leave it on the street now, you know what I mean? Let the other guy to grab it. Here we are, we're in the pit, and uh, you can see all the stuff piled up, and you can take the dishwasher and kick it out of the back of the truck, and shove it under the railing, and it falls into a pit. Oh man, I was so happy. I got both jobs done and uh, that pit was so stinky. I just had to come outside and get some fresh air. I <laughs> smell some flowers. I uh, trying to rescue myself from that pit. I'd like to thank you for watching.